30,000 subscribers, guys. I think it's time for a cheers. Excellent! Guys, what can I say? 30,000 subs. Thanks to each and every one of you guys for watching Poor Boys RC. This one's for you guys. We're going right to the good stuff, guys. Fat Tug IPA by Driftwood Brewing here on Vancouver Island. Man, if you guys like IPAs, this one is one of the best. It is about 7% though, so be careful because it does pack a punch. But guys, we have reason to celebrate today. 30,000 subscribers. Guys, cheers. Bang. <laughs> there it is. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting Poor Boys RC. I really just cannot believe that we just crested 30,000 subs. This is a major milestone. And guys, wouldn't be here without you guys watching the show. All the amazing comments, all the emails and text messages you guys send. Thank you all so, so, so freaking much for being on this journey with me and, and helping grow this channel into something that's just so so much fun and hopefully enjoyable for you guys is as enjoyable as it is for me. I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are too. Cheers, fellas and ladies. So listen, guys, I wanted to say thank you to all of you guys for supporting the show in the best way I can. This little guy seems to be extremely popular right now, and I'm going to give mine away. If you guys check that description box down below, you're going to see a link to the raffle website. Right now, we are running a free raffle for this exact low C micro B. I just did a review on it. I think this thing is so, so, so cool. I just don't have any room to hold any more RC cars, so I am raffling off a lot of my cars right now. This one here, guys, we're saying thanks to all the viewers for watching and supporting the show. It's a free raffle, guys. It does not cost you a cent to enter. And that also includes free shipping worldwide. So now's your chance to get a low C micro B for free. Check out the raffle. And while you guys are on the raffle site, I do have two other RCs that we're currently raffling off. These are not free raffles. Tickets are a buck or a pound. So a little more than a Canadian or US dollar. But guys, we've got two awesome looking rigs. We'll start with this one here. I just did a review on this one. And I realized after I made my video last Wednesday how poor a job I did promoting these two cars. So I'll take a little bit of a deeper dive here, guys. If you don't want to know any more about these cars, just jump ahead. But real quick, guys, these are both being raffled off. This one here uh, I got from Timu. We did a review on. Kind of got this arm of fire team thing going on, like a mini fire team. This truck was a ton of fun. I mean, it had kind of more basic um, functionality to it. The shocks are not oil filled it's brushed but guys it's so fun to drive this thing it was plenty tough it's in great shape just a couple little scuffs up on the roof and that's really about it guys this thing is like near mint condition what you see here is what you get everything you need to run this thing guys again tickets are just one pound free shipping worldwide so while you're in there entering the raffle for the free losi maybe buy a ticket or two or 69 of uh, this little guy right here there is also another raffle for this guy, the 114 scale Jetwood stunt truck. I call these stunt trucks because that's really kind of what they are. They're kind of like stadium trucky monster truck things. But this one is a little more fully loaded, if you will, guys. Oil filled shocks. A few more goodies came along with this one as well. Check it out. We got a wheelie bar here that I never did install. A bunch of extra parts, some springs, some A-arms, a bunch of tools and stuff there, guys. It's got these neat chassis protectors right here. Obviously, those two were not installed. Oh yeah, it even came with two bodies. There's this really nice body here with integrated lights in the, in the back there. And then the body that I ran was this one here. Kind of that satin finish to it. Looks super cool. Look at the profile in this truck, guys. This thing is a really, really impressive machine. All metal construction, oil-filled shocks, brushless motor, fast, 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 super duper tough. There's a cool scar on the bottom of the chassis down there going up that dude's face. Looks awesome. Same idea, guys. Tickets are a buck, worldwide shipping included. Get your tickets and help support Four Boys RC. So today's video, guys, is going to be a bit of a mishmash. We're kind of doing a little bit of everything, a bit of a channel update, and of course, giving you guys a big thank you for all the support over the last few years. So a couple updates first, guys. I finally got all the addresses for the Speedrun Challenge prize winners, so prizes have started shipping out this week. And I'm sure you guys have noticed as of late, this channel has started to really kind of branch out a little bit and get away from really only being focused on, you know, vintage Tamiya and Kyosho stuff and branching out into some more modern RCs, like obviously the low-C NASCAR parking 
lot racer vehicles and the low C mini T and some of the Arma stuff I've been picking up lately. My goal for this channel is to make this my full-time job. This is what I do full-time right now for a living. And my goal is to grow this channel into something large enough that it's financially realistic to keep doing this every day and call it a real job. So with that, a couple things have come to mind, guys. One, I mean, that we built the channel off of Tamiya and Kyosho's. I want to sort of branch off into a broader spectrum of RC to show you guys a little bit more, take a little more of a cross-section of the RC world and bring it into your guys' homes every day. But I'm also curious what you guys think. Do you guys think I should branch off into some of the other brands? The Armas, the, dare I say the T-word, Traxxas, Schumacher, Corrali, even Rolarlo. What do you guys think of those brands? Would you guys like to see more of that kind of stuff in the channel? Or should I stick to the bread and butter of the Tammy and Kyoshos? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And some of you guys may or may not know this, but my goal is to get this channel to that 100K mark. That is no easy task. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. It means so much to us YouTube content creators. Hit that like button. All those buttons mean the world to us. Hit the notification bell. You know the drill. But guys, listen, I've set my goal to 100K. That silver play button, you know, something about it. I'm going for it. So I'm curious if you guys have any feedback for the channel. And remember, take it easy on me. I'm just a one-man show. But if there is anything you guys would like to see more of or less of, let me know in the comments below. I really want to make sure I'm producing the content that you guys want to see. Moving forward from this point, guys, I'm looking to make three videos a week, which is a fair amount of content. In the past year, this channel's gone from about 8,000 subs to 30,000, which is a tremendous jump. Between that and some of the really good analytics that YouTube gives you, it sounds like this is going to be something that's going to work for me full time. So I'm going to make the commitment to getting three videos a week out to you guys. I'd like to try and hit every, say, like Monday, Wednesday, Saturday kind of a thing. Definitely Saturday. We all need our Saturday morning cartoons and then throw in some other stuff during Mondays and Wednesdays during the week to keep you guys entertained. Now, that's a big matzo ball for me to be biting into right there. And I'm stoked to be doing it, guys. This is a huge challenge. Now, three videos a week is a lot of videos. That means I'm going to have to make sure I've got a lot of RCs coming to the channel to keep you guys entertained. It helps me out a ton if you guys use the provided affiliate links down below. Helps the channel make a few bucks and keep those RC vibes flowing. So check that description box guys, I've got affiliate links to all of your favorite hobby stores down there. If you use those, helps me out and doesn't cost you an extra penny. So with so many new viewers to the show, I wanted to do a little Ask Me Anything segment here as well, guys. So if you guys have any questions or anything you're wondering about, whether it's editing or kits that I'm interested in or future projects, that kind of thing, throw them down in the comment section below and I'll do a follow-up video with you guys in a week and answer all of your Ask Me Anything questions. And while you guys are coming up with your Ask Me Anything questions, I wanted to go around the shop here and show you some of the projects I'm working on. The first one I want to talk to you guys about is paint. Check these out. On Point, Canadian paint manufacturer and distributor for polycarbonate. I picked these up at one of the hobby stores, Great Hobbies, when I was in Edmonton recently. I just picked up a couple basic colors, just a black and a white, and I'm going to do some testing with these. As you guys know, Tamiya aerosol paints have been banned in Canada, and us Canadians need something to work with, so hopefully this is a good paint product. I'm going to do a little bit of testing with it later on in an upcoming video and let you guys know how it works out. Furthermore, to the Tamiya aerosol paints being banned, when I was at Great Hobbies talking to the guys there, yeah, it's Tamiya. They're, it's a Tamiya way. They're not going to be changing their formula for us. It really doesn't look too promising, guys. So might be a good time to start finding new paint suppliers. This beautiful project has been sitting on the back burner forever. Guys, if you're not familiar with Project 959, boy, oh boy, you're going to want to be familiar with Project 959. I've got most of this video finished up. This is going to be coming to you guys really soon. Unboxing, we're going to talk to the man behind it. This is something you Tammy nuts are really going to want to see. And recently I was gifted a couple toy grade RCs, which I think are super cool. This one, I mean, it just fits the motif of the channel. Beach Bash Edition, the Lighthawk. Kind of got this monster truck thing going on with super rigid suspension and tires and stuff. It looks super cool. The Crush Bus. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun with that bad boy. And we've also got this one here, the Lighthawk Trail X. This looks like a small scale um, RC car. So something a little bit different for us to check out on the channel. And then here, guys, check this one out. We've got another helicopter to check out. Again, sent over from RTR Hobby. This one's a little bit bigger than the last one, 133 scale. The Bell 206 Gyro Stabilized Helicopter. These are so, so great. If you guys remember, recently we just did a review on this one, B0105. This one was super, super cool. This one's a slightly larger scale, but a different helicopter model. We got the four chopper blades there. We've only got two on this one. Very, very cool. Get into that really soon. And while we're down here, I've still got my RC-10T that I got to finish up. Guys, I don't know if I'm going to run this or not. I think it's just going to end up being a shelfer for most of its life, if not its entire life. As you can see, we got the Tekken ESC. Um, I did throw a receiver in there just to make sure everything's working. It is working. 
I've got this cool Ion Storm brush motor back there. Where's the body? Where have you gone? It's down here somewhere lost in the abyss. Might still be in the box. I haven't painted the body yet, but I've got a special project that we're working on with Guru's World, Greg over at Guru's World, on a very, very special body for that RC-10T. Stay tuned for that. I've got some goodies up here, this big servo saver from Arma. This is gonna go on the Midnight Pumpkin, which is gonna get a little bit more treatment because I still gotta get this guy out for a good running video. Gonna upgrade the steering a little bit more and make it the baddest ass Midnight Pumpkin out there. We still got the dirt cross here. I'm still waiting for an opportunity to take it up to Tofino and get it on the big flat beaches out there of Tofino and rip this around. We got a cool Tamiya dirt tuned motor back there. That guy's going to be awesome. The buggy collection has been sitting pretty still lately, guys. It's not a ton of movement there. I did pick up this super sweet Tamiya Hawk 2 a little while ago. It was during the time that Hawk 2 a girl was a hot thing to talk about. And I really should have jumped on that chance and you know made some, some funny sort of memes with it, but just didn't have a chance to do it. We've also got this big daddy here, the MRC Thunder King. It's been sitting down here for a couple of years. Just have not had a chance to get it out for a running video. This might be the guy that rekindles Throwback Thursday. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more Throwback Thursdays. No other new kits to go over, guys, although the bowling digger might be fun to race with this. New school parking lot racer versus OG parking lot racer. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. We got Team Kyosho up here hanging out. Still have some paint work to do on the 959. I got a brand new body in for that. We got to get the holiday buggy out for a rip. BBX needs to get back out again. We got the moon dish, the CD wheels here on the Durga, the DB01 looking good. We got the CC chilling there. Guys, again, thanks so much for the 30,000 subscriber milestone. That is so awesome. You guys all rock. Eric Tar, don't forget about that free raffle down below. Affiliate links down below. And once again, guys, thanks so much for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Be excellent to each other.